your Riverside County Fire Chief, John Hawkins. I know, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Can you deal with it? Okay, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. And with myself as a fire chief, along we have Deputy Fire Chief Dale Hutchison here, Division Chief Steve Hutchison, County of Emergency Services, newly appointed Deputy Director Peter Lent, Northern Alpine County Chief Jerry Hendershot, and our Assistant County Chief Pat Tomlinson. I'm going to go through the PowerPoint program. I'm not going to read every slide because this is America and everyone can read well, correct? Right. Yeah. Good. Okay. We believe the fire department currently in Riverside County, which is contracted for the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, called CAL FIRE. CAL FIRE contracts with Riverside County. Riverside County contracts with 16 cities, one community service district. There are currently 24 cities in the county of Riverside plus one community services district. We protect 16 of those cities currently and one community service district. We feel our system represents an integrated, cooperative, regional fire protection system. This is of great benefit to you because you get all the economies and scale of a big organization. And I'll tell you what some of the things you avoid. The fire protection system, again, I talked about this, not only the county incorporated area, which you are right now, but the state responsibility area, the brush that we protect. And as you know, there was a fire last fall during the October fire siege right over here just off Grand Avenue. We are also the County Office of Emergency Services out of Grand Avenue's Peter Webb. So the question you had for Captain Federoff earlier, what about emergency services disaster preparedness? We do that within the fire department. A fully integrated CAL FIRE is a fully integrated full service fire department. One of the benefits you have in contracting, if you were to like a contract with the county, you don't have to fool with labor relations. You don't have to negotiate contracts. You don't have to do any of that stuff. The same identification issues that were asked of Captain Federoff apply here. The same pension issues, etc. Except in our case, the employees are primarily state employees. And you get all the economies of scale of not having to buy a fire chief. As the fire chief for the county of Riverside, I'm a state employee. My salary is paid by the state of California. There is no charge to the city or to the county for that service. Cal Fire's local government program, we currently have 147 local government contracts throughout California. And you can see that in 35 of the 58 counties, 25 cities, 31 fire districts, etc. The County Office of Emergency Services, this is a big deal. County Emergency Services takes care of disaster mitigation, disaster prevention, including citizen training, citizen emergency response team service, disaster response and coordination and recovery, and we also take care of getting grants. Our fire department has five leader or five values. Number one, we expect our people to be leaders. Number two, to be competent. Number three, to be honest. Number four, to be safe. And five, to provide customer service. And what that means to us is we be nice. No matter how bad the situation is where we go, no matter how much the people are having a problem, we be nice. When, when you push 911, your life will change. Because someone is either ill, someone's had a heart attack, or whatever. So we want to be nice. Our primary services are fire, 16%. Medical emergencies, 81%. 65% are heart attacks, strokes, lacerations, childbirth, whatever. 15 additional percent are car crashes. Our response standards, currently we have four response standards. Five minutes for heavy urban, in the developed area, urban is seven minutes. Our rural is 10 minutes, and outlying is 15 minutes. The city of Wilmar, if you incorporate, you determine your response level. Just as Captain Federoff said, with a number of officers, that choice is yours. One of the very banner points that's clearly made up here is local control. That local control allows whoever of you are elected as city council members to set that level and decide what do you want for the city of Wilmar. The city has a choice. 
You could go with a heavier than five minute response time. You could go with seven, you could go with 10, or you could set your own. You might decide you want something different. The fire station needs, if incorporated, will the fire would immediately pay the full cost for our station 61, our grill, and a one third of the cost of the Clinton Key station, which is 75. Upon opening of the Clinton Key Fire Station, which is proposed, Wilmar would then pay for Station 61 downtown Wilmar and the new Clinton Key Fire Station. The one-third cost for Station 75 or Bear Creek would no longer be charged. The Clinton Key Station would be operational on or about fiscal year 0910. That's what we propose. Upon incorporation, Wilmar could choose to build the Clinton Key Fire Station later or earlier or whenever the city decides because local control becomes yours. <coughs> Services provided to Wilmar in addition to going out and pumping water or oxygen to people. This is what we provide, administration support services, just as the sheriff said and the gentleman here asked, what depth of search? You get all of our fire investigation. We have 10 fire cops, fully credited, uh, post-certified fire cops. You get all of those. You get our fire protection services. You get our people who take care of paramedic recertifications and all that kind of support service. You get our fire equipment warehouse and all of our telecommunications and information technology. Life safety planning, strategic planning, we debate. We debate with something you want. Paramedic <coughs> service, 80 or 81% of our calls. This is very important to you because this is the lifeblood of what we do. We pump more oxygen than we ever pump water. And that helps people who have a need. And we have there our current engine company, three person engine company, uh, Station 61, always has a paramedic on duty. Always has a paramedic on duty. One of the three peoples is a paramedic, firefighters is a paramedic. What paramedics do is they can defibrillate or change your electronic heart rhythm. They can intubate you or point basically a uh, tube down your throat so you can breathe, or they can do drug infusions as are necessary. 